Hi there, it's Rob from Octopus. Today, we're going to take a look at our new Operation Runbooks feature set. Runbooks put the ops in DevOps and automate routine maintenance and emergency operations tasks like infrastructure provisioning, database management, website failover and restoration, and general server maintenance. Traditionally, a runbook is documentation that describes an IT process step by step to perform routine or emergency operations tasks. Things to keep your applications and systems running smoothly. And most teams have something like this. Unfortunately, they're often out of date or incomplete. Runbook automation is a way to improve on runbook documentation by automating the steps to execute operations tasks. Runbooks capture and share knowledge across teams, and they're well suited to teams in a DevOps world. Developers, operation folks, as well as on-call staff. Expert domain knowledge is not required. Runbook automation is fast and reduces human error. Traditionally, runbooks are written processes, and while docs are good, automation is better. Scripts are testable, repeatable, and they can be improved over time. Reduced friction and incident resolution time. In emergency scenarios, Runbook automation reduces the friction to resolving problems in a fast and efficient manner. Now, let's walk through an example. I have an Octopus Cloud instance running, and you can see I have a handful of projects in two environments, staging and production. If we head over to our infrastructure area, just to take a quick look, you can see I have a collection of deployment targets. They're primarily Linux servers, but I do have a couple Windows boxes in there as well. And you can also see that all of my servers are healthy. Now we'll head over to our projects. Today we're going to take a look at an application called Random Quotes. And it's quite simple, but it pretty much just provides quotes as a service. Now you can see we haven't deployed for a little while and everything's been running nice and smoothly. I'll take a quick look at our deployment process. The first step is to update our database and we execute a script just to do this for us. The second step is to deploy our website to Nginx. The application is a .NET Core application and we're deploying to Ubuntu servers. If you used Octopus before, this would look very familiar. We, we saw our project overview, we've seen our deployment process, and we also have our project variables. But in between, we have a new operations area. So if we head over to the operations area, this is our runbook dashboard. It shows you which runbooks have been executed by who and in what environment. If we head over to our runbooks, you can see the full list of runbooks for this project. These runbooks automate a variety of tasks, everything from database backups, test infrastructure provisioning, through to emergency failover or incident recovery. Now, let's walk through an example. Suppose I'm a DevOps team member and it's my turn for on-call rotation. So in the middle of the night, I receive a call that our website is down. So first thing I do is I go to the production website. So our website is down. Now, I know this has happened once or twice before. It's sporadic every few months. So let's head back to Octopus and take a look. The last time this happened, one of my teammates created a runbook to be able to quickly and easily resolve it. So if I look at this Restart Nginx runbook, we can see who ran it last and when, but let's take a look at its process. This is a very straightforward runbook with two steps. The first one simply sends a Slack message to an ops channel so that more people are aware either at night or the next day. And the second step is simply a script to restart Nginx. So if we take a look at this, you can see it's extremely simple and it's just restarting the Nginx service. This is a simple script, but it's tested and it's automated. If I head over to the process, even though there's only two steps here, we do have the full power of Octopus. So if I click add a step, I have over 300 steps available to automate my operations process. Now let's go ahead and run this. 
Now, the first thing that you'll notice here is that it's much simpler than deploying the application. All I have to do is select my environment. In this case, it's an emergency, it's production. I'm trying to resolve an incident. And if I wanted, I can customize this to select individual machines, etc. But in my case, my runbook process describes what I want to do and what targets. So I'm going to go ahead and execute that. There, that executed successfully. So if I head back to my website, I can see that it's back up and running, which is fantastic. I'd also like to point out that it's possible to schedule runbook runs. Octopus has supported scheduling deployments for a long time, and we have that same robust support here as well. You can see I have two examples. One to provision my test infrastructure in the staging environment, starting at 8 a.m. every weekday. And I'll have a matching one to tear down that infrastructure in staging at 8 p.m. on the same days, just to save money for cloud infrastructure. This is an example where you can schedule runbook runs to do routine maintenance on any schedule you need. So let's review what we've seen today. We executed a runbook to recover our crashed website, and we saw a number of other example runbooks to help with routine and emergency operations tasks. Using Octopus for our runbook automation brings some great advantages. Runbooks and deployment processes sit side by side. They can share configuration settings, secrets, stem templates, scripts, and more. And runbooks are lightweight and easy to execute. Octopus is already aware of your infrastructure. Runbooks leverage the infrastructure that your applications are already deployed to, so there's nothing new to configure. No tools to install and no new login details. Security, permissions, and auditing. Runbooks are managed and executed by Octopus, giving you a complete audit trail that can be reviewed at a later date, making it easy to see what happened, when, and why, and if anything needs to change. Finally, discoverability and visibility. Octopus creates a central location for teams to manage, control, audit, schedule, and execute runbooks. You can see when a runbook was last executed. You can see the changes to the runbook, and you can run the same runbook against different environments. Team members can easily find a runbook and click a button to run it. Everyone can see the output from the last run and whether it succeeded or not. Thanks for watching. Links for all the resources used in this video are in the description below, including a link to start a free trial of Octopus Deploy. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel as we're adding new videos weekly. Happy deployments!